Thank you very much. For a great job. He's the head of a restaurant empire that dwarfs even McDonald's. David Novak, CEO of Yum Brands, heads a company with operations in 112 countries. In this time of global uncertainty, Yum hopes to open up some 1,500 restaurants outside the U.S. this year. But there are challenges at home. People are, are still very concerned about jobs, keeping the job that they have, and they're still watching, uh, watching every dollar and every penny. And in our business, that's, that makes value paramount. Uh, recently, we launched $10 large pizzas any way you want it, pizza, and we saw a tremendous re resurgence in sales. Yeah, in some ways, you know, recessionary times, one would think would, would play to your strength because your price points are accessible for most people. But is this gone on long enough? Is it tough enough for people that they're actually choosing to stay at home altogether? Well, last year was a year where at-home eating was uh, up and away from home eating was definitely down. And what we're seeing is, is that, you know, it's starting to move back towards our industry, but transactions were down across almost every day part and every segment. But we're seeing a, a slow, slow recovery, but it's not something that you could have a lot of euphoria about. Now more than ever, you have to be focused on, on making sure you get the basics, you can excite people with innovation, but everyday value is key. And in our industry, uh, value has been one of the hallmarks. As the U.S. outlook remains uncertain, Yum! Brands is looking overseas for growth. It has operations in 70 emerging markets, but performance in one country stands out above the rest. China's been a real rock star for us. Uh, you know, we have a tremendous business in China. We have over 3,000 KFCs, 500 Pizza Huts. We're getting into Pizza at home delivery right now. We're even creating our own Chinese fast food concept. So you've got a huge consumer base that's growing in size, plus you've got a, the Chinese customer who's getting paid more these days, so there's more money uh, to spend on, on, on our brands. How are you finding the business environment in China? We've had, mm -hmm. especially lately, some high-profile comments coming from different corporate leaders mm -hmm. about the difficulties yeah. uh, of doing business in China, the environment yeah. in China, whether the market is really set up for global companies mm -hmm. to succeed there. How do you find doing business there? We have, we've had nothing but outstanding success working in China. Uh, the Chinese government's been very helpful for, with us. Wherever KFC goes or Pizza Hut goes, it's almost a sign of the times, a sign that the city is really coming of age. And the, the government and the people that we work with there really open up the, the, the doors. We don't have any intellectual property issues. Uh, the only uh, intellectual property we have is uh, the Colonel's uh, Eleven Herbs and Spices, that secret recipe. And, but we, we have, but it's, we're not in the heavily regulated, state-owned enterprise uh, category.